hi guys welcome to water lily healing today we're going to do a reading about how this week is going to be so we're going to have two piles this is a timeless reading thank you very much for coming uh, if you're new here you're welcome to subscribe and hit the bell and just a second we'll get the second one here it is so Pile number one will be my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Focus, please. And the second one will be when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Here it is. So choose pile number one or two. Take a deep breath, concentrate. And let's go ahead and start with pile number one. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So, what is the next week going to bring you? Angel spirit guides. Tell us what pile number one week is going to be like. Here we go. We've got leadership, release, slowing down, suppression, and attachment to the past. So guys, what I'm feeling for you is this week is not going to be very like meaningful. It's going to be kind of chill and... Um, I feel that something is going like you're going to be in the process of releasing something painful from the past kind of I don't know like past trauma maybe you're going to a healer or a, a therapist something like that I feel that something that has been suppressed for a very long time and kind of stopped you from moving on with your life and kind of disrupted your quiet and peace and like your uh, for a very very long time I can see I feel like years some sort of trauma and I feel like this week somehow it comes to light and you start kind of working on it and I feel with the help of someone like uh it's as if you kind of noticed it and you decide that you want a more stable foundation because we've got the leadership card here and it's kind of equivalent to the three of pentacles and for me in this context and I feel and there is release here now the release here means that um, you see the the drop of water here on the leaves so usually what it means is that um, like the drop of water is really scared of falling down from the leaf because it's used to the leaf and it's comfortable there but as soon as she will drop to the ocean or the uh, lake whatever it is it will feel at home and it will feel kind of one with the universe so the process of releasing the leaf is emotionally kind of terrifying and difficult but you understand that like better days are waiting for you and something a lot better like you coming out from the darkness to the light and you understand that you need to go through this process of releasing this painful thing and uh, I feel it will kind of force you to it's not it's not that it's going to force you I feel that the main impact will be a lot of changes and you will be dropping like a very heavy kind of load that you've been carrying that's been weighing you down for a very long time. I feel you'll be kind of dropping it and like moving on to your new beginning and kind of making peace with the past kind of thing. And like uh, something that you were very attached to and like a huge like kind of weight that was very heavy and you like carry it or carried it around and now you're leaving it and you kind of 
I feel like you're kind of excited towards your new start. I feel it's, it's going to be kind of a little bit towery kind of energy. Like, uh, maybe it's cutting cords or maybe it's uh, walking away from a painful relationship or place or a job, but like, it's something like that didn't feel very good for a very long time and now you decided like uh, that's it, I've had it and I'm headed to like a new uh, more positive and better beginning and here we have from the beginning my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe which resonates for me very much with this release card I'm going to go through this difficult process believing that the universe has got my back and will support it and I'm going towards a better place so let's get one more card yeah I'm feeling it's going to be really exciting like you're going towards clarity and like knowing yourself better and I feel like you've been kind of confused because usually carrying around baggage that's what it does it kind of make makes us see things through this kind of twisted lens yeah so i'm feeling it's going to be awesome i feel like you're going to go through a very meaningful and awesome process and one more oracle card i surrender to a power greater than me exactly guys you couldn't make this shit up, like it's perfect, exactly. So, you're this amazing butterfly. Like, you've done cocooning, now you're flying to your awesome future. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. If it resonated, like, share, and subscribe, and have an awesome week, and I hope that everything will, like, this process will go really easily and smoothly and nicely and the future is bright look what we've got on the bottom of the deck it's ending and you see the like the last piece of the puzzle creates a baby like a new beginning a new birth great awesome guys thank you bye now we're moving on to pile number two when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe so let's go ahead and see what are you attracting from the universe this week angel spirits guides how is this we're going to be for pile number two we've got exhaustion here uh, guilt um, being naughty we've got the fool here the fool is also always awesome and we've got adventure which is a really happy card, one of my favorites. It's a good card. Guys, what I get for you here is... I feel like... Um, actually, it kind of... It is kind of connected for me to pile number one because I feel it's also kind of about... I've been carrying this some sort of heavy weight and maybe it's the collective energy because astrologically we we're going through this period where everything is like aggressively changing everybody's shedding their skin going towards the light so maybe it's kind of about it and but i see that like in the center we've got exhaustion here and it's kind of you've been doing your thing you've been living your life but kind of always needing to kind of take into consideration like uncomfortable stuff like like try and run through kind of the drops of rain like it's raining and you're trying to run like between the drops and not get wet and that's kind of like it's been for you recently i feel and there is guilt here so maybe you've been carrying around guilt maybe just some not necessarily guilt in the classical way but kind of i feel that something is wrong and like some real really heavy and difficult mental state that's been heavy on you and i feel like you really felt like you're getting tired and you need something a lot more fiery and alive and fun like look at this card look at this dude here 
with his like colorful clothes and he's looking up and he's smiling and he's dancing and he's happy and everybody and everything is kind of light and breezy and i feel like you've been missing this energy a lot in like recently and then we've got the fool here which as you know kind of talks about a new beginning in the sense of like i'm shedding all my baggage which the exhaustion card is talking about like too much baggage like over the top and like i can't i'm done and so the fool drops all his crap and he's jumping off a cliff believing that the universe will support him and which creates the new rebirth and the whole amazing like uh, magical journey and the fool here is going towards this adventure that we've got here look She's coming from a dark, scary place. It's like the woods or something. And she's moving into this awesome, like, paradise kind of looking, colorful, awesome, interesting, fun, exactly. Like, it's the same colors as here. So, so she's moving from the exhaustion to this energy. And that's you, I feel, guys, this week. Like, you've been... You kind of... You're tired of, like... I feel taking into consideration I feel that you've been forced recently to take into consideration a lot of things that made things very kind of you you had to be a lot more patient than you actually are and you had to like notice a lot of things and you were like drowned in expectations I don't know whether your own or maybe someone else's but like there would there were too much pressure and I feel like you're going to this awesome place of releasing all this crap and you're tired and you just want to have fun. So like you just stop one moment and you say like fuck all of this and like you know, throw away like your tools, your work tools or whatever. And you just go to the nearest bar and you dance and you have fun or the forest, whatever, like to each his own. And you go towards this adventure, which completely connects with when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Joyful presence. See, this is you. So your jo joyful presence is coming back this week, and I feel like you're going to have fun. And let's pull one more. We've got here. Giving... This card is also, look at the colors. It's also very fiery, very abundant, and a lot of like happy things. You see the flowers and the fruit. Don't know whether you can see or not. It's a really old deck. I had it since I was 14. I have it for 22 years, this deck. So uh, yeah, it's kind of used up a little bit, but it's my favorite. So we've got fruits and we've got candles, fire, light, and the sun and the energy and all this like red, yellow clothes. So th there will be like abundance and spirituality and candy. But also, I feel like you kind of lost the sense of, uh, of gratitude because you're so tired and everything is so like exhausting and annoying and just leave me alone and I just want to go and have fun. And I feel that this week you will be kind of centering back to your like divine presence and start noticing how blessed you are that you actually have all this fruit and flowers and you've got the option to go and have fun you couldn't because you had all these like restrictions that i feel was mainly mental like it was very heavy and i feel like since you're dropping all of it and you're centering back you will be really like enjoying it like someone who've been working for like two weeks in a row without like stopping even once and then after two weeks he's done and he can see his project finally like uh done and he can go home and get some good sleep and awesome shower and amazing breakfast with amazing friends and then like a trip to nature and like go to the beach or something so i feel that like that's going to be an energy this week which is awesome and let's get one more oracle card when I'm in alignment with with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Exactly. I feel like you're taking back your ability to enjoy life. To just like rejoice and be grateful. <clears throat> I can't make it focus. Yeah, but trust me guys, that's what it says. 
When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. I promise. That's what it says. And it sounds like an awesome week. And I wish I could go out and drink with you. I think I can use some fun myself. Thank you so much for coming. If you liked the reading, you're welcome to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I'll see you next time.